Welcome back, it's Nicole here. Well, this week on our Knee High Naturalist Educational Series, we're gonna be talking about something that Michigan is known for. Hmm, you guessed it. We're talking about our weather. Well, let's think about what are some of the things that we can look for outside in weather. Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining or snowing? Or here in Michigan, it could be even hailing. How windy is it? Well, let's take a peek outside, see what the weather is like today, and check out what Miss Rosemary's up to. Come on. Hi, everybody. Well, the weather sure hasn't been very nice, has it? It's cold out here today. And to, so we decided I would share with you something our family's done for a long time. We have been checking weather by looking at a weather rock. And so these guys didn't know about the weather rock, so I thought it was time to send it down to the next generation. So I have two weather rocks here. And if you guys want to sit right here for a minute, I will go over here and we'll start with this one. And this weather rock is kind of like my old fashioned one. It's made on a tripod with a string and that weather, uh, or the rock will tell you what the weather is out. And so today I notice it's kind of moving and swaying. So that means it's windy out right now. Well, that one's a little harder to make, but let me just show you. It's made on a tripod and I use some little pieces of dowel and I kind of put them in the pencil sharpener to make them a pointed so they would stick in the ground. And then I just tied the three pieces together at the top and then I could just move them and so the rock would hang in between them. A little easier one to make is this weather rock. And this weather rock, uh, I used just a rock and painted it and you put two rocks on the top of it and when it gets windy one of the the rock will fall off the top and today it's windy so i've been having trouble getting it to stay on so we're going to check the weather uh, check the weather here and on uh, form our site you will be able to get a paper that i made so that we could gather data about the weather this week using our weather rocks and then we'll go in and i'll show you how to make this one Here's the chart that you can find on our website, um, on our Facebook website, that will be a weekly weather chart. And it has all the days of the week here, and then it has pictures for the different kinds of weather you might find on your weather rock. And so this one is a tree that it has a, a shadow. And that's what we're going to check first on your weather rocks. Uh, Sylvia, you're going to be checking the kind of rock we're going to be painting in a few minutes. And you're going to be checking our tripod one. And I have some different directions, but most of them are the same. So get your pen ready to record. And first of all, I want you to see... Uh, oh, and I should show you this. This is the, the guideline of how to tell the weather on your weather rock. And that's also included on the website. So first of all, does your rock cast a shadow? Oh look, I can see a shadow right underneath there. How about yours, can you see a shadow? It's almost, oh look, the sun just went under the cloud. So it's cloudy, not sunny. If it cast a shadow, it would have been sunny. So can you find a picture of clouds? And so now you can put a mark there and Sylvia, we just saw sunny, so you can put one so it's kind of partly cloudy today, isn't it? Now on yours, for the next one, if it's windy, your rock is swaying. Can you see your rock moving at all? A little. A little. So I would mark windy. Look what happened to yours. The little rock fell off, so you better mark that it's windy. Can you see the cloud that's blowing a gale there? Now check your rock. You might have to feel this. Is it wet? If your rock is wet, it's raining. It's just <laughs> It's not, it didn't get your mitten wet. Okay, so we'll leave that. Is your rock covered with white? 
It's not snowing. Is your rock hard to see today, hard to find? No. It's not foggy either, is it? Is your rock been moved to another place? No. Oh, good, because that means there's a tornado. And if your rock and your poles are shaking, or your rock is shaking, yes, no? Are the rocks and the poles shaking? Good, because that's earthquake. Oh, so what kind of weather do we have today? Windy. Windy and what else? Cloudy. Cloudy and some sun. That's how you can tell and mark your weather rock. Shall we go in the house and start painting a rock for you guys to take home? Yeah. All right. Well, we've brought some rocks um, inside and each one of the girls brought three rocks that so they could kind of stack them up to measure the wind like we did with the rock outside. And uh, Sophie has painted her rock purple and Sylvia's painted her big rock pink. And now they're in the process of painting their small rocks. So we'll let them finish those. And while that paint is drying, um, then we will paint maybe some lightning bolts or uh, raindrops or sunshine or something on your big rocks, okay? Would that be all right? Mm -hmm. Well, we have our weather rocks all painted and the paint is dry and they're looking good. And so we just wanted to show you our end product. We hope you make a weather rock at your house and they will um, keep track of your weather for a week. And next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to be talking about, but look for me on uh, Form Our page next week.